myself seven days until the fall. How do I explain how it started? Putting it into words is like looking at the sky and saying it's blue. Blue doesn't account for gradations of color or shifts in weather or my eye seeing differently than yours. Blue is basic. It doesn't reveal the truth. It was the middle of the night when I woke up and saw it. It was absolutely clear. Not a waking dream, not a hazy sort of what is it. No, it was distinct and real. It was there, materializing through the sooty skeins of darkness above my head. A crow. It was hovering over my bed, directly underneath my starburst glass and bronze ceiling light. Its wings were spread, the feathers glossy black. Its eyes, black and red-rimmed, stared at me. I stared back intensely aware of the physical world, how a million tiny goosebumps stand over my skin, how my breath huffed out and in, rhythmic and locomotive, how the nighttime shadows erased everything in the room but the crow. My body had turned into a block of ice. I could feel the weight of my sheet and blanket over me, the slight added pressure on my abdomen of my sketchbook. The crow drifted closer, as smooth and stealth as a military hovercraft, it was maybe three feet away now, touching distance. You are messenger 93. A voice in the dark. You must find her. Its pointed little beak didn't move, it didn't snap open and shut or have superimposed lips like in those CG phony movies. But I was certain it was the crow speaking. She will fall in seven days. It didn't sound male, it didn't sound female. As she falls, so do we all. My mind didn't search to understand. I didn't try to talk back. Only you can save her. The crow flapped its wings one time. I could feel a whoosh of warm air against my cheek. It said, Save her. Save us all. And then it folded itself inside its feathers and sank into the darkness. Like a corpse on water. <laughs>